of it. So, right, let's get started. All right, so I decided to do a little bit of research um, because I currently have two of these. All right, and this one here is from Shea Moisture. I actually got this in an unboxing that I received in the mail, and that's the 100% pure. And it says head to toe, and literally, this is what got me kind of curious when it said head to toe, because I always assume black castor oil was used to help grow your hair quickly and use it on your eyelashes and your eyebrows. Especially if you like you over plucked your eyebrows and things of that nature. Uh, you want to help it grow back or you just want to help thicken your eyelashes as well. It'll help to thicken it. Um, and I can say that black castor oil does work because I remember when I first started using it, one of my eyelashes had extended like way past the others and I thought it was coming out and actually it was growing because when I went to tug on it to pull it thinking that it had came out, it was still stuck. <laughs> so yeah, this, this stuff works. And that was maybe, maybe about a week and a half, two weeks after using it. So it does work and it does work quickly. So I decided to do some research today and find out what else I could use this for because I have two bottles oh, and this other one is from OK. And I got this when I went on one of my random trips to TJ Maxx or Marshalls. They usually sell stuff like this. So from doing my research, the suggested thing was to make sure you get black castor oil that has been cold pressed. And it said the way you can tell is it has a pale to a yellowish looking tone. This is the OK, so it definitely has that pale yellowish tone. Or it's definitely pale, should I say. And then uh, this one here from Shea Moisture definitely has a little bit more of an amber, yellowish tone for sure. And this oil tends to be a very, very thick oil. So it's something that when you put on, you definitely want to massage it in. So definitely one of the great things that I've come to find that black Jamaican castor oil is good for is for conditioning your lips. So I've done it in one of my videos. Mm. And it's something about when you put it on, your lips literally do feel like really, really, I don't know, plumpish, soft. I can't explain it. It's just weird. It's, it's different. I would say that's for sure. It's not like putting on chapstick. It's It feels good. So one of the other things castor oil is good for is especially for getting rid of fine lines or at least helping them to fill in over time because it's packed with omega fatty acids. And that's one of the things that actually helps to make your face more plump. Uh, replace the elasticity that you lost. Ever since I turned 30, it was like, happy birthday, here are some fine lines. <laughs> and it, and I guess it came right after I had lost some weight too. So I lost the weight and then I had just literally just turned 30 and the lines just decided to just want to be there. And I'm like, wow, that's very noticeable. So, but it is what it is. I love to laugh. So one of the things it's definitely great for is helping to get rid of fine lines. So if you have fine lines in your forehead, fine lines in your smile line, or maybe you're having starting to get a lot of fine lines on, in your under eye area. This is definitely good for that. You just want to massage it into your skin. So I'll show you all. And basically I just rotate. I go from left to right, right to left. And I just started doing this and I just realized, I'm like, man, here it is. I was about to go and buy some chemicals to put on my face. So help with the fine lines. Specifically, I was thinking about, it's called New Derm. New Derm, I believe. They have like a whole system where they exfoliate your skin and all that. And I'm like, you know what? Let me look up some natural exfoliants and do this the right way. And don't shell out freaking three, four, five hundred dollars because that's how much the kit costs for you to do this. And I'm gonna put some on my eyelids too, why not? And if you want to, you can use your wedding finger down here. That's supposed to be gentler in your under eye area. And why not? We're already here. So basically you just want to do circular motions the opposite direction and pushing it up into the skin. And while we at it, I'm going to massage it into my eyebrows. <laughs> I could always tend to have more hair in these eyebrows before I decide to pluck. In fact, I've been trying to hold off on plucking them so I can grow a little bit more hair. I'll make it look neat. And then one of the other things, I was actually surprised to read this, that castor oil, as thick as it looks, is actually great for um, unclogging your pores so people can use it as a cleansing oil. Not only does it unclog pores, but you can also use it to help get rid of acne. So I would say if you do something like this, if you're going to do this treatment, I would say do it overnight. I wouldn't do it like before you get ready to put your makeup on. You know what I mean? 
but I would definitely do this overnight so it has all the time it needs to, you know, soak into your skin. All right, so the other great use that castor oil is good for, if you're not familiar with this, it actually is great for helping your hair grow. It's great for dandruff, um, it's great for split ends, it's great for hair loss, yeah. So it's great for a lot of things, um, dealing with your hair, you know, and like I mentioned before with the eyelashes and all that. It's an antifungal oil as well. So if you have fungus in your nails, you're talking about nails, I actually use it to now moisturize my cuticles because for the longest now, my cuticles, my hands have been looking a hot mess. If you look at my other videos, you'd be like, what's going on? I use my hands a whole lot, especially at my other job. Yeah, my other job is quite rough. So the tendency for it to be extremely dry, yeah. And then with it being like still cold, it's just ugh, a hot mess. And I noticed putting it on my cuticles, it literally, it really makes my cuticles look really moist. Um, one of the other things I definitely know it's great for, because the first time I ever used it was actually when I was pregnant. Um, and I was I was in the last couple of days for my due date. I already had contractions the day before that made me go to the hospital. But it's one of the things when you go there, all of a sudden the baby says, oh, I'm going to stop. <laughs> so I thought I would assist because um, I, I was looking up online one of the things you could do which was you could take castor oil and that's supposed to help your contractions come on and help you go to labor but don't go practice in there please I don't mean do as you like I did it for me because I wanted him to come out but well I say it works I can't really say um, I know for sure because he came like 24 hours later so yeah he was already on his way I was just trying to help them. And the way that works is it's supposed to be great for people who are constipated. So it helps you have that pushing feeling. So that's what helps bring on the labor as well. Yeah, you can use it if you have constipation issues and you need to get regular. Just do not overdo it because it will make you have full on diarrhea. At least that's a lot of the articles I was reading in regards to the pregnancy and helping you go to labor. You will have straight up diarrhea. So don't don't OD on this. I would look up um, how much to use if you want to use it for that so you can get regular. Um, because believe it or not, not being regular, that's one of the biggest issues you can have in regards to a lot of feminine issues like BV and stuff like that. Oh, and you can consume black cast oil, but just make sure it's the type that you can consume because there are some would say do not ingest. Yeah, this one from OK definitely says on the back for external use only do not ingest. Um, so I just wanted to share those quick tips because I feel like a lot of times we're trying to go broke um, buying all these chemicals that probably affects our kidneys and our liver and who knows what other organs they affect. And then not just that, it might be causing new skin issues that we don't even realize, you know what I mean? Here it is, we're trying to look younger and treat our skin better, but we're not using the very natural things that God has already created. We're gonna go run to the store and buy the next product instead of taking our money and using it wisely on something not only can you eat, but you can also put on your skin as well to help you both inside and out. So that would be one of the big things I'll say. If, if you're having skin issues, a lot of times it's what we're taking in. And of course, what we're not putting on our skin. I was, I'll say it's both. If you use black castor oil and you use it for something else that I did not list in this video, definitely make sure to leave it down in the comment section below and share it with your fellow beauty lovers. And if you have subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit the notification bell down below. So whenever I upload videos, you'll get that notification straight to your phone. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.